Hi guys! So I know it has been a really long time since I uploaded a video and I just wanted to update um, you on what's kind of going on. I just got back from working out and I don't have makeup on so that's why I'm wearing sunglasses and sitting outside because it's super nice out. Um, number one, I, well, I don't know how many of you know, but I work at Starbucks pretty much like 35 to 38 hours a week and um, three weeks ago I got a second job um, working at a campground for a family friend who owns it so I would work there three days a week for like three to four hours I just do recreational stuff um, but yeah uh, that's the first thing and I started I have been working out a lot more I work I try and work out every day for two hours um if i don't do every day i do like four to five days a week depending on the weather and depending on if i need to go to both jobs at the same time or what my hours are like at starbucks and so far i've lost seven pounds in a month and two and a half weeks i think so i'm super excited about that and yeah so i don't know i might do a fitness video i'm not sure if i will or not um, sorry, there's like people walking past my house and I don't want to seem like a creeper. Um, number three. Okay, so this one is a sad one. It is the fact that Milani and Jordana Cosmetics are no longer cruelty free. So, um, Milani is actually owned by Jordana and I'm not sure why they went back to animal testing. I think... It was just to make sure that their products were I don't even know I don't know <laughs> and okay so I saw it on Twitter and then I read the article and it was a beauty blogger who had contacted the Milani um, customer people and asking whether they had gone back to animal testing and they said yes um, so she said that there were rumors about false information given but it's becoming pretty apparent that the rumors aren't false they're true like they are no longer cruelty free so that's a sad one um yeah and i got all the blushes except one which is red red vino or whatever i, I don't even know um so i was lucky enough to get most of the blushes that they had before they went back to animal testing um I think the last one is that um, I decided to stay in Illinois longer. Um, as some of you might know, I came from, well, I am originally from Illinois, and then I moved down to Florida with my boyfriend of three years today. Today's our three year anniversary. And um, I moved down there with him, and he got a job at Disney, and he's still working at Disney. And then I came back up here at the beginning of January. To go to makeup school which I have graduated in March and I told him that I would be up here until the end of June beginning in July well I just really need to save up money to go back down there because we do want to rent a house with our other roommate that's down there that took my place and I just feel like I really need to figure myself out as well um, I mean we're still together and we're happy but I just am a Midwest person. I will admit that I hate living in Florida. I don't like Florida. It's too hot. It's too humid. People have, I think, like the complete wrong misconception of people who live in Florida. Like if you live by the ocean, it's fine. I would love to live by the ocean, but there's no way that's going to happen. We live by Disney where there are tons and tons of people. The traffic is terrible the I mean it's just like tourists everywhere and they don't know how to drive which is the worst part and um I don't know it's just yeah I don't know so I'm staying up here to figure myself out for a little bit longer to save up money and all my friends are up here like I have one or two people that I actually like hang out with in Florida that doesn't include my boyfriend so yeah so that's basically it for an update um 
yeah and I will try to film more videos I do want to get back into it it's just I've been super busy oh and I'm applying for a third job at a salon as a makeup artist um this past Saturday I was working on a TV pilot that was getting submitted to the Tribeca Film Festival I think like a competition in New York I don't know if it's a Tribeca no it's not it can't be that it's some comp film competition in New York so I was a makeup artist and there were like five of us there was a lot of people and the 21st I have a freelance gig so that is good um, yeah I definitely want to do makeup as my career because I love it and I am very happy doing it so I will try to um, do more YouTube stuff because I feel bad and I really like doing it so stay tuned and yeah I'll see you all later bye